Good afternoon and welcome to another piano lesson with Warren. My name is Warren McPherson. Thank you for joining me here today. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the minor key and the minor scales. The diatonic scales that are derived from the minor scales, the three types of minor scales, and how all of that is related to the major key. Now, before we can understand the minor scales, we first have to understand the major scales. Every major scale has what we call a relative minor that's associated with that. And if we take C major scale, that scale has a relative minor, and that would be A minor. Now it's called a relative because they share so many of the common tones. If you look at all the notes that belongs to C major, all the notes that belong to, C, to A minor, they're the exact same notes, just starting on A. And so we say A minor is the relative minor for C major. And to find a relative minor of any major key, all you have to do is go down, and down is going to the left, a minor third. And how we find a minor third? A minor third is a distance of three half steps. So start on C, three half steps, and we get a minor third. And so wherever on the piano we go, if we want to find a relative minor for A flat major, we go down to the left three half steps. and we get the relative minor. <clears throat> Let's jump back to C. So this scale that we played that shares all the common tones of C major, this is called the natural minor scale. No alteration, it will have all the notes belonging to its parent relative major scale. The other minor scale is called the harmonic minor scale. And by simply taking a natural minor scale and raising that seventh degree of the scale, we get what is called the harmonic minor scale. And this is a scale we predominantly use when harmonizing songs and melodies. Yeah? Simply raised the seventh degree, and that's called the harmonic minor scale. The third minor scale is the melodic minor scale. And there are two types of melodic minor scale. We have what we call the, or what I call, the classical melodic minor scale and the jazz melodic minor scale. And there's only one slight difference between the two. Let's take a look at it. Using the natural minor, the rule states that to get a melodic minor, you raise the sixth degree and the seventh degree of the natural minor scale when ascending. <laughs> And then those notes are then restored to their original pitch while descending. So again, take the natural minor, you raise the sixth and the seventh when ascending. And then when descending, it's just like playing the natural minor again. So those are the three forms of minor scale. Natural minor, that will, carries all this, that will carry all, all the same note has its parent relative major. Then we have the harmonic minor, which is just introducing a raised seventh, both ascending and descending. And then we have the melodic minor, which is ascending, raised sixth and seventh. Then going back down, we have the natural minor. So that's how the classical harmony teaches the natural minor. In jazz, we have the sixth and the seventh degree raised both ascending and descending. And so that's why they refer to this as the jazz melodic minor, because we don't do the restoration on the descending. We use the raised sixth and raised seventh all the time. So those are the three forms of minor scale. Now let's take a look at the diatonic harmony of these scales. 
and diatonic harmony meaning the chords that are built from the notes of the scale without any form of alteration. Yeah? How they appear in their natural form within the scale. But first, let's shift to the major key a little bit. C major. And talk about the diatonic makeup of this is the C major scale harmonies. The one chord, the four chord, and the five chord in every major key are major chords, yeah? One, four, five. The second, or the two chord, the three, and the six chord are minor chords, yeah? Two, three, and six. And then the seventh chord, is a diminished chord. That's the makeup of major scales or major key. Any one of them will have this makeup. The one, four, five are majors, the two, three, and six are minors, and the seventh is a diminished. Now if we jump to the relative minor, which is A, and we're just going to take A natural minor, now we have the reverse of that major chord makeup. And so now we have the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord are minors. The three chord, the six chord, and the seventh chord are majors. And we have the two chord, which is diminished. That's the makeup of the natural minor scale. Six, I mean, uh, one chord, minor, two chord diminished, three chord major, four chord minor, five chord minor, six chord major, and seventh chord major. But when we're playing in a minor key, most of the time we want that five chord to be a major chord, and this is where the harmonic minor scale comes in, with that raised seventh. So if we look at the diatonic harmony now for the, uh, the harmonic minor scale, we have one chord minor, two chord diminished, three chord augmented, four chord minor, five chord major, six chord major, and our seventh chord now is diminished. That's the harmonic makeup of the natural, the harmonic minor scale. Now it's important to note that whenever we're playing in a minor key, most of the time we're using a combination of the natural minor and the harmonic minor. And I say that because sometimes it might be in a minor key, but or hear a song in a minor key, and they might move from the one to the three, and the three chords are major. But remember, I just talked about the diatonic makeup. The three chord is going to be an augmented. This is in its diatonic form. But the composer doesn't have to use an augmented chord. He or she might want to use a major chord. And this, if they're using a major chord, then basically they're sort of hanging around in the natural minor state right there. Five chord now major, and you hear that resolution back to the one chord. That dominant to one chord resolution, which is why we introduced this G sharp. So that's the makeup of the harmonic minor scale. Let's take a look now at the melodic minor scale. We talk about, and I'm going to ref use the jazz melodic minor, where the 6th and 7th is raised and both ascending and descending. Yeah? 6th and 7th raised. And if we look at the chordal makeup, we have minor, minor, augmented, major, major, diminished, and diminished. Very strange chordal uh, makeup, huh? And the melodic minor scale is used predominantly as a, a improvisatory tool. We use it when improvising. We don't really play in the melodic minor scale, so to speak. 
you can borrow chords from the melodic minor scales. And if you've been following my videos, you can realize that this concept of borrowed chords is a pretty wide and deep well, meaning you can borrow chords from any key and from any scale. Yep. But I just wanted you to see how the makeup of the natural minor scale and the harmonic minor scale, because those are the two predominant scale we use when harmonizing melodies in minor key. The one chord is minor, our four chord is minor, our five chord is major, our six chord is major, our seven can be major too. Then we can switch. Introducing that G sharp or A flat diminished chord which resolves to the A minor. Whenever you're playing in a minor key, just think about the harmonic minor and the natural minor fused. Those chords are going to be weaving in and out of each other. Yeah? Now let's jump to C major and we're gonna talk about another form of minor and this is called the parallel minor. And what that means is that they share the same root. So you have C major. And you have C minor. And I'm using the harmonic minor in this uh, instance. C major and C minor, they both share the same root, which is C, and that's called a parallel relationship right there. The parallel minor for C major, or the parallel major for C minor. And oftentimes when we're playing, you can borrow chords from either the parallel minor or the parallel major. Now note, C minor would be the relative minor for which key? E flat, because we talk about to find a relative minor, you go a minor third below the given note, and that's where you find a relative minor. And so I know that C minor is the relative minor for E flat major. C minor is also the parallel minor for C major. I know I'm getting a little deep here, but stick with me. So when I'm playing in the key of C major, I have options of borrowing chords from not only the parallel minor, but from also the relative major of that C minor. And another concept that I haven't talked about yet, the relationship between C major and E major is what we call a chromatic median. And I will discuss that in another video, so don't worry about that. Right now, I just want you to know that there is a relative minor concept, and there's also a parallel minor concept. So for example, I'm in the key of C. Check this now. So you see, I'm playing in the key of C, but then out of nowhere, I pulled an A flat major chord. What happened there? I borrowed a chord straight out of the parallel minor. Because again, look at C minor. The sixth degree, one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth degree in C minor is a major. And so I can. and then back to C major. I can borrow that chord. I can even borrow another chord. I can do something like. D minor seven flat five. And D minor seven flat five is the two chord in C minor. 
two chord is diminished. And so I borrowed that and then take me to a G7 or a G7 flat 13th. And so I'm not gonna to go too deep in the barred chord concept, but now you see the possibilities. And this is just one concept of how you can borrow chords using chords from the relative minor or from the parallel minor or from the relative major of the parallel minor. <laughs> I know it's deep. And so I'm not going to get any further down that rabbit hole. I will continue to do uh, lessons covering this concept of barred chords and how they're related. So that's it, guys. That's how minor key works. That's the harmonic makeup for the minor key. The two chords that I sort of mentioned in the diatonic makeup of a, from the harmonic minor scale, we talk about the three chord, the two chord being a diminished and the three chord being an augmented. And these are the chords in their diatonic form derived from the harmonic minor scale. If you want to learn more about augmented chord, check out tutorial 34. In tutorial number 34, I talk about augmented chord and how you can use them. And in tutorial uh, number 33, I talk about diminished chord and how you can use them. And those are in my YouTube playlist. So check out those videos on using diminished and augmented chord. Hopefully you found this concept of minor key and minor chords interesting in minor scales. If you have questions, post them in the comments below. I would like to hear your take on how you use minor keys, minor scales, and how you use borrowed chords from these scales in your playing. Post them in the comments below. If you're new to my video, hit a subscribe. I post a video once a week, every week. There's tons of information to keep you busy for a lifetime, and I'll continue to do this. So until then, keep singing, keep listening, and keep practicing. Don't forget to hop over to Piano Lesson with Warren and check out the goodies over there. I have full length courses that goes in detail in a lot of the stuff discussed on my channel. Have a good week and see you soon.